guys welcome back okay listen 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 okay <laughs> i am so excited to have this palette in my hands i have been waiting dying just longing for this palette ever since i saw norvina post it up and talk about it oh my goodness i have been drooling and waiting okay because <laughs> this palette has my name written all over it now you guys know because of the title of course i'm talking about the new abh norvina pro pigment palette this is the volume one okay so hello thank you for volume two three and four that's coming okay <laughs> but this is the palette you guys it's very very pretty bright purple with gold detailing and it's kind of a larger palette of course it's not the same shape style design as the original abh palettes but i'm here for it okay i'm loving this y'all know i love larger palettes i love colorful palettes so i'm here for it anyways it's kind of in this i don't know if this is like metallic or plastic i don't know what it is but it's kind of like a tin it is nicely weighted so it's a decent weight on it it doesn't feel cheap or light at all <sighs> y'all see this look there's a huge mirror in there you can see that mirror right there it is gorgeous i apologize if my lighting is a little wonky i am filming away from home so that's why y'all getting backdrops this week okay <laughs> but anyway y'all i know you guys have seen this palette is all over instagram all over the yt but it, it is nothing until you see it in person okay it just does not do it justice until you see it feel it love it use it okay now this is 25 shades pro pigments on the back it does say that it's cruelty free and it's vegan um also <laughs> because of it being a pro pigment palette there's a good i don't know 17 shades in here that's listed on the back that tell you it's not eye safe because they are pigments and they can stain the eyes but y'all know i'm putting it on my eyes okay <laughs> so anyways y'all this palette is gorgeous i'm so excited right now now she did not name the shades because 25 shades she was like ain't nobody got time for that okay so we do have rows and columns and it goes by um rows a b c d e and then it goes one two three four five so very very easy to you know let people know what shade you are using if you're doing a tutorial or trying to show someone how to create a look I used a good number of shades of course there's 25 shades in here so your girl didn't use them all but I used enough for me to know I love this palette okay I got a small amount of kick up with the yellow shade there was some kick up in the pan I don't care okay I don't care about kick up as long as I get the pigment y'all know that and that yellow popped on my lower inner corner okay so I'm not mad at it I did get a little kick up this blue y'all now it is a matte blue but it does have like a little bit of glitter in there which i really don't feel like i can see any glitter in the blue that i placed on my eyes i really don't i don't think i can see any of that glitter or shimmer so i don't care about that but y'all let me tell you something when you're using this palette because these are pro pigments just go in lightly do not go ham with these colors you guys i know a lot of times we're using bright bold colorful palettes we have a tendency to want to just go in and really pack it on take your time gently blend out the edges because if you don't you might get like dark lines of demarcation um in your shadows just gently place it down and gently blend it out because they are so freaking pigmented you guys but anyways, enough of my yak, 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 and let's go ahead and just jump into some swatches and then we can get into this look.
So those are all the swatches, you guys. I mean, as you saw, the pigmentation is crazy. Those were just one swipe swatches. Y'all know how I do. And it's just crazy. I love the fact that she chose these colors to put together. There's so much range in this palette. You can do everyday neutral looks, warm looks, cool looks, colorful looks, basic looks. You can do it all. The fact that she put a black in here and a matte white in here, it's just bomb, okay? The shimmers are gorgeous. All the mattes are gorgeous. I love it. Norvina did not come to play with this palette. She said I'm about to do me and I don't care what y'all say, okay? <laughs> so I love this palette, you guys. I've only used it to create this one look and I'm loving it, okay? It's definitely love at first sight. So anyways, enough of me yak, yak, yakking as usual. Let's go ahead and just jump into today's look. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting out this look with the matte blue shade in this palette, which is D4. And as you can see, I'm just gently tapping that on my lid in my crease area. And I'm going in very, very gently and just slowly building it up. I wanted to make sure that I would be able to blend out the edges without having any issues with demarcation lines. So I'm just gently building that up until I get it to my desired pigment. Next, I'm going into A3, which is a purple matte shade, and I'm just using that to softly blend out the edge of that blue. And I think it really helped that I didn't go in too hard with the blue because it did help me to blend that purple very, very easily. And those two colors combined very nicely. Now I'm just going in with a brush that has no shadow on it and blending out the edge of that purple a little bit more before I go in with my next shade. Next, I'm going in with this beautiful coral shade, which is E4, and I'm taking that along the edge of that purple, just making sure that I blend that out. And these two colors blended together so nicely, you guys. Very, very easy, very, very beautifully. I really like the gradient that it created now for my cut crease, I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm just going in creating my cut crease space. And as you can see, the Primer Potion is really nice for cut creases. It has a nice matte base to it. And it's a pretty bright, bright uh, base for your cut crease. Now I'm going back into that blue, and I'm using that on the outer portion of my cut crease. I wasn't sure exactly how far I wanted to take that up, so I just kind of gently tapped it right on the outer edge and decided to just drag it up a little bit farther. Now I'm going into that same purple shade, A3, tapping that right next to that blue and just making sure that the edges of the blue and the purple are blended together very nicely. Next, I'm going back into that coral shade E4, tapping that right next to the purple. And as you can see, I'm just using my brush to tap that color down first. And then I'm going in with the brush for the purple to blend out the edge. I wanna make sure they blend, it, they blend as nicely as possible. Now I wanted to try out this pretty gold shimmer. So I am spraying my brush and applying that to the inner portion of my cut crease. This shadow is a little glittery, <laughs> so it kind of was weird going on, but it turned out very, very pretty. Now I wanna make sure that I blend that edge into that coral shade, so I'm taking the brush that I used for my coral, and I'm just blending out the edge of that gold shimmer just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. Now for this look, I decided I wanted to go ahead and just add a small wing. So I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just applying that to the outer edge of my eye. I didn't want to go all the way across with a thick line. Now that my complexion is complete, I can finish my lower lash line. So of course I had to try out the yellow, which is shade D1. 
placing that on my inner corner of my lower lash line. And as you can see, it is very, very nicely pigmented. Now I'm going back into that coral shade, placing that right next to that yellow. And the pigmentation, as you guys can see, is really, really strong. I had no issues with placing it on my lower lash line either. Next to that, I'm placing that same purple shade that I used earlier and just blending it in with the edge of that coral. And lastly, of course, I'm going back into that blue and I'm using a very thin flat brush to just tap that right on my lower lash line, just placing it right next to that purple. I didn't want it to get too crazy, so I want to make sure it was a nice thin line. Now I'm just going in with some black pencil eyeliner. And for my mascara today, I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. For lips, I'm going in with my Ellery Lip Liner, of course, from ColourPop. And I'm going on top of that with my It's My Ray Ray Lip Gloss from BH Cosmetics. I think these make a nice combination. And this is the final look, you guys. I have to say for this palette, I am very, very pleased. Very pleased with this palette. I didn't experience any issues with blending or pigmentation. I really enjoyed using this palette. I'm looking forward to trying out some more looks with it just to see how they go and being more creative. So thank you so much for watching. Toodles.